It's the recruiting roundup powered by Rock and Reef Fuel Varsity. Jason Jewell, Jared Cohen, we've got some offers to get to, plus Jordan Ham out in Oregon at the opening. He'll give us a little report from out there. Isaiah Polamau was present, and a former Arizona high school football player is headed to Rio. But first, Jason, first offers over the last couple of weeks. Let's start with Gunnar Romney over at Chandler. So you might not have heard of the name. Uh, he's from El Paso. He's a wide receiver, moved in from El Paso to Chandler High School, and it seems like the rich get richer because Chandler already has three players, three wide receivers with Division One offers. Now they add a fourth. Now Gunner, big kid, six foot two, 180 pounds, going to be a junior, was offered by BYU at their camp. Noah Pittinger, a guy that we've talked about a handful of times here on the Roundup, Jason, he picked up his first offer. Yeah, kind of a sleeper guy, guy that can do both things out of the backfield, uh, playing running back at Brophy High. School, good catching the ball in the backfield and good in between the tackles. Uh, got an offer from the University of San Diego, his first Division I scholarship offer. And we've seen these smart running backs go on to some pretty great academic institutions at a Brophy. Ryan Velez comes to mind, add Pittinger to that list. Finally, another player, Daniel Peabody. He had some academy offers. Here's another new FBS level offer. Yeah, Ironwood Ridge, kind of do it all kind of player. A guy that I really love on tape. He really plays hard, plays outside linebacker, plays some running back, some H back, has an offer from Army. NAU had also offered him as an H-back, but he got his uh, first true FBS offer from San Jose State. They offered him as a linebacker. Again, a guy that I just absolutely love. Jason, three players who already have offers picked up more in the last week. Yeah, so Chandler wide receiver Johnny Johnson got offered by Wyoming. He's very quickly approaching double-digit offers. Terrell Brown, the wide receiver from Basho, was offered by uh, a Big Sky Power Eastern Washington. And then Andrew Nichols, the tight end DN from Centennial, uh, was offered by UC Davis. I mentioned Jordan Ham was out in Oregon at the opening this past weekend. We caught up with him. He gave us a report from out up in Beaverton, Oregon. Yeah, guys, Jordan Ham here at the opening, checking out some of the best high school football players in the entire nation. And Arizona only has one player coming up to Beaverton. That's Isaiah Polamau, safety out of Mountain Point High School. I was able to talk to Greg Biggins from Scout.com, and he said that he flat out loves this kid. He's long, athletic, can really make a lot of plays in the secondary. And if he's able to develop a little bit into his body, he should be something at the next level. When I talked to pull him out about his recruitment, he said he wasn't going to rush his decision, was going to take his visits, let the decision come to him. But he said the two schools that were pursuing him the hardest were Arizona State and Washington, so a couple of Pac-12 schools. And you know that the Sun Devils would love to have another Arizona guy stay in state. Guys? Great stuff there from Jordan Ham catching up with Isaiah Polamau, Arizona represented at the opening this past week. Jason, finally, more representation from Arizona, going to be headed to Rio for the Olympic Games. Devin Allen, the former Brophy standout, won the 110 hurdles, and he's going to be headed to the Olympics. Well, one, let's let's congratulate him and his family. Great people, great kid. Devin was always great to us here uh, at the recruiting roundup, but uh, just an absolute star. Four-star level uh, player, wide receiver at Brophy High School that most just thought, ah, you know, he's, he's a kid with, with good speed, but no, he was a fantastic wide receiver. You don't go to Oregon on a football scholarship if you can't play football, and Devin has made an impact on the football program, but obviously a national big-time guy you know, on, the tra on the track, and let's hope he gets a gold medal. Yeah, that'd be pretty amazing. I remember doing an interview with him in 2012 where he told me how cool it would be to, and he talks about this with his dad, to compete for a gold medal and a, a, for a Super Bowl ring. And it's crazy to think that just four years later from talking to him about that, he's already halfway there. So best of luck to Devin Allen. Congrats to his family. And we're going to be watching. That's Jason Jewell. I'm Jared Cohen. This has been the Recruiting Roundup on Sports 360 AZ, powered by Rock and Refuel Varsity.